Hello and welcome back to Diablo 2 Resurrected. Uh, even though a lot of you have probably played the shit out of this. Uh, but Jaren's been waiting patiently for my Necro to come back and uh, do his questing and whatnot. Good evening. Good evening, Jaren. Greetings, honored traveler. I am Jaren, Lord of Loot Golane, and I bid you welcome to my fair port city. I'm glad to know that once again, caravans are free to travel through the Western Pass. For some time now, we have been under siege by an evil power that I cannot identify. Mm, do say. Strange. It all began when a dark wanderer came this way, looking for the tomb of Talrasha. Mm. No one knows exactly where Talrasha, keeper of Baal, is entombed, but it is certain to be far out in the desert. Now my people whisper tales of the dead rising from their tombs. Oh and horrible creatures lurking amongst the moonlit mm. dunes. Even I have witnessed things which I cannot explain. Do explain. I've ordered the port closed and all trade ships moored until I am sure that my city is safe. Atma, the tavern keeper, has an important mission for you. She Go does actually. Immediately. You'll find her on it's the a other very side important of town. one. Now I must return to the palace. I apologize, but I can't invite you in. Things are rather a mess right now. You are rude. Not inviting a new guest. How dare you. Save my city. You're not invited into my house. Okay, then. Fuck your house, then. Uh, alright. So I have been... Actually, let's let's talk to Atma before I go I on. I don't expect this of you, but if you want to help me, I would be grateful. In the sewers below our city, there looks a horrid creature that hungers for human mm. flesh. The creature has killed me, mm. including my <gasps> son and my husband. If you destroy it, I will reward you. Please, be careful, though. That beast has taken enough from us already. The sewer entrance is through the trapdoor, just up the street. That's one sewer entrance. There is also another one, which is down here by the docks, which, you know. Not one of them is closer, depending on what dungeon is. Actually, shoot. Before I go and do that, I want an Act 2 Mercenary, because Act 2 Mercenaries are dope. But yeah, it's been a hot minute since I've played this Necro. I've wanted to play this Necro. Um, and I have been playing Diablo 2. I have not been playing any Necromancers at all. Actually, I should see what I got this good person. Um, shoot. Oh wait, no, that was what I wanted to do. Uh, you got junk. I don't even have room. I'm not even gonna bother selling it. Oh, I'm just gonna load my, load my shit right here. Um, let's get. Uh, I'm not summoning yet, but I will be summoning it. I'll. Pr so, yeah. Again, once we get to Act Four, I'm gonna switch to Summoner. Even though I'm not sure of that idea being a smart one based on past experiences with a friend recently. But uh, we will do it anyway. I don't care about Blessed Aim. Um, a big problem will be surviving from Diablo. Uh, I don't think... I think we need healing. Because I don't think... Defiance will help uh, with the fire waves that Diablo will inevitably, inevitably be launching on my crew of undead. Uh, what's the highest level one I can get? Mizan, level ten. Yes, I will take you with me. You can't use any of this shit. I can. Ooh, I think that's a better. Uh, what? No, it's not. Is it? Maybe. Nah. Is it? Nah. But maybe. Nah. Ooh, I forgot I got those too. So many things. Let's sell some of this shit. I know. Oh, I should have listened to her. That's what I was doing. How may I help Listening to I know much people. About the ancient religions. I was trained as a paladin of Zakar oh, really? in the Eastern Koras Temple many years ago. Good to know everything about you. Um, so this stuff, 
Uh, probably gonna use the rest of this junk and we can put gems uh, elsewhere. You'll notice, uh, sorry, looked at the chat, looked at you. You'll notice that in these uh, things I have stuff. I will not be using them because that is cheating. I want this necro to be like, like a fresh experience to give you the idea of what someone starting out with their first character will have to go through. Um, because this would just make it easy mode. But, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna actually stash everything in here for this character until I beat it normal with them. Alright, back to what we were doing. But yeah, I've, I've, I've had some time to play Diablo, but it's been in uh, small little stints. So, and, and I wanted to stream this character when I had enough time to at least get, th oh my god, what's this like? To get through an entire act uh, in one stream. So it's not all, you know, cut up and whatnot. Oh, shoot, my fellow's gonna die! He's dead. Well, shoot. That kind of. Mm. I should go back and get him. He's gonna be actually useful as I progress. We'll go back up and we'll go through the other entrance. Maybe it is faster. Maybe in this map it is. Uh, so yeah, I've had time to play. Um, and whenever I have like a shit ton of time, I've been trying to like kind of work on things, either things I'm behind on or things to kind of establish myself on all the different platforms I'm active on. Um, just so that moving forward, I don't have to do as much background work to get things set up. For instance, last time, if you've watched episode one of this and you watched it on YouTube and you're watching this on YouTube or, you know, talking to me now, um, I didn't have the chat on screen. So if someone said something in chat and I talked, it would be kind of out of context because you didn't really know what they said. So now if I get a viewer, um, it will show up on this chat, but it'll show up on the screen so you guys on YouTube can see what they said and then I'll respond and it'll be more inclusive, a, a nice little community of people conversing and, and whatnot. You'll be in the loop. And I have little follower things that pop up. Uh, on YouTube, I just uploaded a video I've been like, I took way too long to work on about how to cheese Mephisto, which we will be doing on this character once we get to act three because it's the only way to kill him. Why struggle with him when there's an easy, cheesy way? Um, another thing I've been noticing is I say um a lot. And that is no good. Because it just shows a lack of knowing what to say. And there's nothing wrong with a little bit of silence. You know, just silence of <sighs> That's embarrassing. Yep. This is, uh, I knew this was going to be a longer act than act one. Good morning. One of the longer acts, I'd say it's, act three can be up there. Act four is probably the quickest, but I shouldn't be having this many problems early on. This is actually a fairly easy quest. And as I was gonna say before, it's a very important quest because it gets you two things. One thing is it gets you an extra skill point, which is amazing. You should always go for the quests that give you extra skill points. The other thing is that's a better helmet for me. The other thing is you take this one. I'll put that to good use. Um, 
once you beat this quest, Atma is so ever grateful to you that she runs around the town and goes, Hey, I'm grateful towards this person. I've got some pull around here. Everyone give him cheaper prices. All you merchants, charge him less. And that's important. His money can be very helpful uh, early on in this game when you're low level and when you don't have access to a bunch of things collected from previous characters. So that's why we need to do this quest. That and I also said I was going to do every quest on this stream with this character and hear all the text because rarely does a Diablo 2 player just sit back and, and read all the quests and, and everything. I kind of have a general idea of the overall arcing story, but as far as what the NPCs and stuff say, I've probably never listened to them in entirety. Wow, I didn't remember this character being this weak. I just recently played through with a, with a trap assassin while my buddy was playing uh, Summoning Necro. And I blasted through them. Granted, I was using a bunch of the items uh, collected from other characters, but none of them really increases the power of the traps, which is ultimately what I used to blast through everything. Especially later on when I switched to lightning traps and I obliterated things in no time at all. Except for Diablo. We struggled a bit with Diablo. He uh, struggled a lot. All his skeletons kind of died and he kind of just had to resort to sitting back and letting me take care of things. Which is why I'm a bit nervous about switching this character to a uh, summoning necro. Because things are going to get hard. But I, th I think I have a general idea. First of all, I know I've done it before. Back in the day when I didn't have internet when Diablo 2 first came out. I, I definitely did it before. Um, and what I think I did was... Oh, I shouldn't have used that. Is I would basically just focus on skeletons themselves with the mastery and not get mages. Because mages, they just get obliterated and they don't do much damage to Diablo anyway and they can't take him as much uh, damage from him oh wow this was the faster way wasn't it it's gonna be like right around the corner so I'm gonna just focus on skeletons but also what I did was I would go to act one kill a bunch of things there summon all the skeletons back go back get a few hits on Diablo before he ultimately destroys everything Go summon a bunch of skeletons and kind of rinse and repeat and do it that way. And I think that way we can kill him pretty easily. Plus, uh, because it's just me in the game, he should be a, a bit easier than it was for me and my buddy. Because there's two of us, which means the, the monster power is higher. Thus making them harder to kill. I need health. Lots of health, please. And I'm going to load my inventory with health. Yes, 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 yes. Um, how much mana do I have? I only have 60. Yeah. We'll get the light mana potions. That should not actually. One more row. Should be better. Da da da. Okay, back to it. Oop. Let's make a safety portal. I don't plan on dying again. But, in case I do, it'll save us both time from running through all that again. Even though it's fairly close to the entrance. And I took... I really can't wait till I get Bone Spear. This is all gonna go a lot quicker. Which, I think I'm five levels away from. Well, four and two bars away from. Also, this isn't that great of a place for teeth. And also, if I can gear up my mercenary a bit, he's going to do a lot of killing for me. Let's speed things up. Oh, look at that. More safety portals. I also don't have to waste a ton of time um, with the other quests. 
I just kind of blast through. I kind of know where I'm going. This takes a bit longer because you kind of have to kill everything in your way. But once we get out into it, like Act 2 in its entirety, it's kind of more spread out and I could just kind of collect a bunch of people, then gun them down and then run. Which will uh, be an efficient way of doing all the quests quicker and also not missing out on a bunch of experience. Ideally, I would have Bone Spear before I even get to the Maggot layer, but I don't think that's going to happen. Because Teeth is going to suck. It won't have a lot of room to spread out. That would be a good time to get a good weapon for my Mercenary, because he's going to be doing a lot of the damage in that one. And he needs some good armor, because especially if there's those Lightning Beetles, they're going to be doing a lot of damage to him. But he's not going to like it. He's very weak right now. You should be carrying me. He could use a pillum, I think. He can't use a pill, or yet. Maybe he can eventually. He's probably too low level. I mean, he's quite a bit lower than me. By... Oh no, he's only three levels behind me. That seems about right. Here, you can have these. This... You're a bit tougher now. Which is good, because it looks like you're about to die. New skill. We don't want any of that. Uh, yeah, we want more teeth, don't we? Oh, uh, level 18. I should be using Corpse Explosion, to be honest. Uh, which is fine. I don't need to level it up too much. It's fine at the first level. Do -do -do. Put some things in our belt. Pop, 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 pop. Get some stats. What was I doing? How much strength do I have? Without everything. I like to aim for. Oh, there. Okay, five more. I like to aim for 75. That's a good workable amount of strength for wearing a lot of gear. And we continue. Level 14. Four more levels. Do I even have... I don't have corpse explosion on a hotkey. I don't need skeletons, so what I'm going to do... Oh, this is annoying. I have a ducky keyboard. Which is fine. I like ducky keyboards. It's it's really good for a lot of games. Except for the games I happen to play. <laughs> it's good because I play when I play StarCraft, a ducky keyboard's nice, it's small, it's portable. It's good for like just working on stuff. But it's lacking a lot of buttons for a game like World of Warcraft and a game like this, where you need to assign the F keys, is kind of annoying because you have to do function key, and then you hit one of the number buttons, and then it works. Don't die, don't die, don't die! I saved him! I saved him. He needs a weapon. He needs a good weapon. I usually find his type of weapons all the time. But when you need it, you can't. Oh, special fella. That's not too bad of an aura, I don't think. It's like Holy Freeze. I guess that's what Holy Freeze looks like now. Yeah, not too bad of a threat. Make quick work of him. I'm having a lot of bad luck with these maps. I have to explore like the whole thing before it's like the last path in the last one it was like the last path this one's the last path I hope this is where my bad luck ends or, or uh, I'm using up all my bad luck now because if this is the case in the maggot layer I'm gonna lose my mind let's see if we can find radiment in the first uh, area I 
I think I just need to load. Oh, here we go. That he can use this one. I'll put that to Normal use. Pack, attack speed. Not great, but uh, not as bad as slow. Is it this way? Ah. Oh. I was about to say it's a good sign to see skeletons with this guy, but you see skeletons everywhere in this map. Skeletons love to be in the sewers. Oh, this one's. I am overburdened. Uh, that might be worth a bit. I want to hold on to that. Fill up my belt a little bit. Put this here. Yes. Mm, actually, no, I'm not gonna waste gems on a shit. Hey, I don't want to waste gems on a normal attack speed weapon. It feels like very fast or fast, even fast attack speed's worth it, but not a normal. Mm, oh, this looks promising. This looks like where he might be. Radaman. Hello. Are you here? Would you come out and play? Hmm, might not be. Might not be here. The antidote potion is helpful. I think he uses poison. And if he doesn't, there's lots of creatures that do use poison. In Act 2. There's zombies. There's traps. I think there's like those slinger dudes that just throw the potions at you, the poison potions. Uh, please be this way. Oh uh, no, we're doing a little ring around the entire map again. Take those gas potions. Please lead me to your master. I need to kill, I mean talk to him. I need to negotiate his death. I mean, uh, our friendship. Ooh, is that better for you? No. No. Not enough mana. Ethereal things are very good for a mercenary because your mercenary does not lose durability on anything that he's wearing. And the nature of an ethereal item is once it runs out of durability, you can't repair it. Mercenaries are the ideal candidate for those types of items. Once again, forgetting where the camera is. Which is not the way I was trained in school for acting. Because an actor must always know where the camera is. Although, they're not supposed to look at it. Unless you're Will Smith. Or, Jim Halpert. Okay, seriously. I think it can only be here. So let's uh let's uh backtrack a little bit, shall we? Cuz that's fun. I don't think he's ever in the middle. He's always at the edge somewhere. He's an edge lord. Yep. Here he is. Ah! Don't kill me. I haven't made a safety portal down here. Can I kill him with the corpsey exploding? Nope, because he's not around enough corpses. Let's get nice and close so he gets hit with as many teeth as possible. There's that poison I promised you. There's that painful poison. Very painful. I need some of these in my belt. Let's go back to killing him. Here's a here's a pot for you, fella. Die! Please. There we go. There's my book of skill. Okay, I'm gonna pick up that chain mail. What a waste of for my fella. This this we can use that. This, 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 
this. This. That. This isn't gonna work. I need one of these. I need pot. Pot, 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 pot. I just wanna see if this has better attack speed for him. It does not. Does it have better damage? It does not. Oh, does it? Hmm. Hmm. I don't like 1 to 27. I like some low end damage. Some more teeth. Because teeth is going to make my other shit stronger later on. My bone sphere. Atma, give me cheaper shit. They say that the taste of vengeance is bittersweet, but I find it to my liking. In addition to my undying gratitude, I have spoken on your behalf with the rest of the townspeople. The merchants have agreed to show their gratitude by offering their wares and services at Lowe's. Hooray! Oh, Jaren wants to see you too. You'll find him in front of the palace. Uh, I've never actually seen or done the... Oh, I listen to this guy. He likes talking. What a fortunate turn of events. As the last living Haradrim, I alone have knowledge of its meaning. Now, to read the Herodric runes it bears. Mm. Mm. The Herodric mages, after binding Bale within Talrasha, magically sealed off his burial chamber from the mortal realm. Those same mages also crafted fearsome Herodric staves and imbued them with the special power to open the chamber's oh, hidden door. multiple staves? After nearly losing one to the thievery of a rogue sorcerer, they divided all the Herodric staves into two parts, wooden shaft and metal headpiece, hiding them separately to safeguard them. The Herodrum foresaw our current plight and designed the hiding places to reveal themselves to worthy heroes like you. Collect both parts of a Herodric staff and unite them using a Herodric cube. Then you may enter Tal Rosh's burial chamber. And that's why you listen to the quest, because I never knew there was multiple uh, Herodric staffs. Good evening. I always thought it was just the one. But I was wrong. Here, that's better I'll for you. That, to good use. that should sell for a lot. We'll hold on to this, because why not? A little stamina and a little extra cash. Never hurt anyone. Well, so all that. Ooh, that's a lot of extra cash. That's not bad either. That's uh, could be better. All right. I shall. I shall spend my new money on pots. Uh, sure, we could rock two lines of health, two lines of mana for a while. Probably don't need too much of this because I don't plan on getting hit too much in the next little bit. Alright, let's go get myself the cube to start. So we can kind of like gather some of these people up and make our spells count for more experience. Work for him. Yeah, I don't want to stop to kill like one or two people, but this is good. Always stop and kill the elites. I think that's what uh, speedrunners do. They kind of just run through everything and they only really stop to kill elites or giant packs. And they won't worry about the snickle fritz. Like this is one remaining guy. It's like, whatever. I mean, he killed him anyway, but if one remains, it's like, meh. But you could. It doesn't take much to just like kill a few of them. So, we need to find, first of all, the dry hills. The dry hills will be where the, the, shit, what is it called? Is it the Halls of the Dead? Yeah, I think it's the Halls of the Dead we're looking for. The Halls of the Dead. Where they keep the cube. Normally, you could just skip this part if you've already done it on another, another character. Because you could just use the cube from another character to progress you, although you eventually do like to have, or should like to have, uh, a cube on every one of your characters. It's convenient, it 
kind of in a way gives you more inventory space if you want to go that route but uh if you want to speed run yourself you don't need it at all and if you really want to speed run yourself and you get someone else to do it you don't even need the staff i don't think or do you i forget i haven't actually been sped run in a long time i'm pretty sure you don't need it Get speed run. Could be wrong though. I've just been enjoying this game so much. It's been a hot minute since I've even played the original, so having all this these sweet graphics and these little quality of life things, I've really been just like savoring every moment that I've had to play the game. <clears throat> and it's good to savor it now. Because once the ladder comes out, that's when I'm gonna kinda wanna rush and because then you're going to have to, like, remake new characters of characters you've already kind of made before. Like, I think the most important thing to start with is a sorceress because you get the magic fine and whatnot. I, for one, the first thing I'm going to do when the ladder comes out is I'm going to be making a lightning sorceress. And there's actually quite a few people that uh, want to start the ladder with me so I think when it does get released oh perfect found the halls of dead level 2 right away see our luck is turn turning around but yeah there's a lot of people um, one including Kyle from the questing couch podcast uh, who also sometimes streams on twitch will be joining me he's also I believe making a sorceress I'm gonna make lightning source he's gonna kind of go between uh, fire and ice I have another friend that's going to be doing uh, Hammerden. And if anyone else wants to join as well, they are more than welcome to. But yeah, we're going to set it together. We're probably going to stream it. And it's going to be a, a fun uh, and kind of a, kind of a nostalgic thing. Because I remember back in the day, always starting new characters with all my Diablo 2 buddies. Should have picked up more mana pots, but we might be fine. And kind of like, you kind of like start off in the same state as everybody, so it's kind of cool. You're all on the same level. You all have no gear. Kind of just trying to blast through as fast as you can. And then, usually, a lot of my friends pass by me because I do like just savoring and enjoying the game. And I'm also bad at, like, what you're supposed to do when you get the high levels is, uh, and you're magic finding and you find duplicates. You're supposed to trade it, like, trade duplicates for other items, but I'm really bad at telling what things are worth. I'm going to do a lot more this time around to, um, figure out how things are worth and, and take more advantage of that and do a lot more magic finding. So that will be fun. But... Up until the ladder starts, I'm going to continue what I'm doing now and just enjoy this lovely game. It looks so nice. Let's uh, clear. Let's, let's have a gander to what it used to look like. Wow. What a difference. Still look good. Still a good looking game. Bit dated, but good looking back to this oh yeah I've also heard good things about all the new sets like uh, before this version of Diablo 2 all the sets were kind of just like different colored versions of uh, of armor that's already in the game and it didn't make you look much different except for like some of them would make you glow if you collected them all, and I, and uh, Trangs, the Necromancer set, of course, would make you turn into a ghoul that can cast fireballs, which is awesome. But I've heard that they look a lot cooler now, and I haven't researched it. I didn't want to. I don't want to be spoiled. I mean, I will probably look into it eventually, especially when I'm doing research and stuff for upcoming videos that I want to make. But I want to uh, hold back 
and let myself be surprised because I have been magic finding on another sorceress that I have. I haven't had a lot of time recently, but I will have time probably after the stream to do a bit of magic finding actually. Looking Thor would do it. I haven't been too lucky uh, lately. I've been finding a lot of like low level rare items, which has actually been pretty good for a lot of the new characters I've been making. Not a lot of Sigon's armor yet. I want the full set of that. Found the boots. Found the shield as well, but I gave it to my friend. Because he's kind of new to the game and doesn't know about Sigon's, and I'm trying to convince him. That's the best set in the game. Because it is. I'll challenge anybody on that. Where is my cube? Don't treat me like a noob. I shall shoot my teeth into your boob. Here it is. Okay. Thank you. Die, die, die. Give me that sweet experience. And I'll give you that sweet, sweet death. Going, going, going. There's my cube. Hooray. Um, that's one of the more slower areas of the game. Completed. The slowest being the staff. The amulet's not that bad. And then from there it just gets cool because then you get to go to the arcane sanctuary. Oh, uh, let's listen to his cube top. You have quite you a treasure quite there a treasure in that Herodric cube. cube. According to Herodric lore, the cube can restore a Herodric staff. To do it, use the cube as you would a scroll. When the cube opens, place both pieces of the staff into it and use the cube's transmute power. You'll be pleased to know that the cube has other alchemical uses as well. Six gems plus one sword transmute you the into a socketed longsword. You may also transmute two quivers of crossbow bolts into one quiver of arrows, while two quivers of arrows yield one quiver of bolts. I must leave it to you to discover other formulae. You must. So do you have the information? You know all the other formula and you just decide not to share it. It's supposed to be helping me, Kane. Fucking asshole. Uh, money. Money, money, money. Money, 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 money. There's nothing the right portion can cure. True dad. Money. I have too many health potions. They're not too hard to find. But, because I'm not getting hit a lot, I'm running out of mana quicker. The more mana potions, the more I can spam my teeth, the more I can spam my teeth, the more I kill things quicker, the more I get through this game quicker, the more I level quicker. And the sooner I get my bone spear, the happier I'll be. And I'm kind of looking forward to, even though I've just recently... Motherfucker. I thought I got the Dry Hills waypoint. Now I gotta run. Get ready with the stamina potion. Ugh. Running, 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 running. I guess I can edit out this boring part for you YouTube people. So if I'm gonna edit this out, what kind of boring, uninteresting things can I say to the Twitch chat so so the YouTube chat doesn't feel like they're missing out? Uh, did you know? Oh wait, I was gonna say that it takes the same amount of force to bite into a baby carrot as it does a finger. But I feel like that wasn't true information. I feel like I heard that. I verified it, and it was true for a second, and then I uh, misunderstood the information. Alright. There. A useful, not true fact. Which I guess doesn't make it a fact. Okay, so next. Uh, 
If we see the waypoint, we'll scoop it up. If we don't see it, uh, not a big deal. Because we want to go to the Fire Oasis. We want to go to the Maggot Lair. We want to get that over with. Like ripping off a bandage. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I did. My mercenary leveled again. Hooray for him. Uh, everyone comment down below in the YouTube comments and, and give Mizana congratulations on the progress. Ooh, look at this experience. You flying buzzards. Alright, mana, 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 mana. What was that? I couldn't move for a second. Alright, let's round up these fellas. Get some experience. I'm almost level 16. And then by the time I'm done the Mega Lair, I'll probably be almost level 17. Maybe I should just run straight to the Lost City and get the amulet first. And then maybe I'll get Bone Spear by the time I have to do the Mega Lair. It might work out like that. that mm, yeah. We could try that. I mean, the worst case scenario, it's not going to waste any time because. If anything, it might save time because I might find the Lost City before I ever find the uh, Mega Lair. What did I pick up? I thought I just picked up something useless. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna go find the Lost City. If we find the Maggot Lair, maybe we'll just make note of where it is. Uh, and keep running. Hopefully we find the waypoint. More teeth, please! Because, again, the teeth are gonna make my thing stronger. A big old spear. Please give me a waypoint. This waypoint will be useful with my new Lost City first strategy. So I can easily come back and easily vanquish the Maggot's lair. If I level up to a ten. I get a lot of mobs like this. Especially a lot of rare mobs, then Realistically, what is choppy? You know what I should have done? Oh, there's a mega layer. Where the waypoint? Okay, let's just make a mental note of where that is. What I should have done is I just got uh, a new thing that I didn't even know existed. Where. Well, I guess I'll preface it a bit. Um. The router is upstairs, and in order to get my computer wired, I had to wire an Ethernet cable, a 50-foot one, all the way down a vent, through a ceiling, into this room that I'm in, and into my computer. So I didn't want to do two of those to make sure that I had an Ethernet for both my laptop and my computer. So my computer is hooked up via the Ethernet. This laptop isn't. And I thought it was more important to do it that way because the computer is what's uh, sending this stream to you. So it doesn't really matter if I get too much in-game lag, I think, with uh, this laptop. However, I found out there's this little box splitter thing that you can get, which I've recently purchased. Where you just get the Ethernet cable, you plug it into it, and then it turns it into four extra Ethernet ports. So now I can have this laptop hooked up to an Ethernet port, I can have like a gaming console hooked up to an Ethernet port, I can have my PC hooked up, and I can have like Deanna's laptop hooked up with an Ethernet port all at the same time and I don't have to keep moving the Ethernet cable around. So yeah, I should have done that because it would literally take like a small little cable to reach where I have the box. But I'm an idiot, so I didn't. Oh, these guys will give me some good experience. I think from watching Llama, I need mana. but I haven't watched him in a while. I think he said that those guys, the Beatles, especially a rare group, yield the most experience. 
Or maybe I'm mistaking it with the souls in Act 4. Either way, I'm pretty sure it's one of the lightning dudes. Ew. I don't really need magic fine on this guy. Poison length. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to get poisoned too much. I should, though. It could be beneficial to me to see if there is a wand that will either increase my teeth or in a few levels increase my bone spear. Because I don't really hit things a lot with this sword. It doesn't do nearly as much damage as my teeth. Let's see. Bone wall. Golem. Hey, golem. Do these ones. Nope. Mage and blood golem. I mean, it might be cool to get a golem, but a golem. One the teeth. 20 mana. Okay, I'm gonna buy this. And then show you guys a cool little tip if you didn't know. I'm sure a lot of you do, but a lot of you probably don't. Uh, he still has the same items, but if you leave town and then you go back, he'll have a new inventory. Ask. Hooray! Let's see. If he doesn't have anything good this time, I'm just gonna go with the one I just bought. Because it's better than nothing. Um. See, now I'm addicted. One more. One more, I promise. He might have the best weapon in the game. Hello. Come on, one to necromancer skill level. Um, mm, mage. Uh, yeah, nothing. Okay, we'll just go with this one. One to teeth. Good enough. Sell the sword. Put my skull away. And... Oh, look at this. We can combine them. Now it's flawed. Okay. Back to the oases. Got lots of pots. Good to go. I like keeping the cube there. We just need to find this, which is the lost city. And now, uh, I forgot to pay the hydro bill. Uh oh, I hope the power doesn't get cut out. That would be unfortunate. Oh gosh darn. Uh, I'm not convinced that we're gonna get to level 18. I mean, I could go around killing random stuff, but then the time I would have saved from the maggot layer with the bone spear would just be canceled out by going around and grinding. So let's just hope for the best. If we could get as much experience as possible, then at least maybe halfway through the maggot layer, we'll hit level 18. And then you can see like the stark difference between the speed it'll take me to go through there. Holy shit, we're getting surrounded! Eh. Ah. You know what? Good on Mizan for not dying. He was dying a lot earlier. But he's really come around. He's a good fella. Yeah. Mega Lair is awful, but... Honestly... Teeth would suck compared to Bone Spear, but it'd be fine if I could like aim it like that and hit a few people in the Mega Lair. It wouldn't be too bad. I'm still better off than like a Summoner, but c'est la vie. Eh. I should get quite a bit of experience from the the dudes at the level 2 Claw Viper Temple. 
Maybe we'll find a few rare packs uh, on the first level. Take the globe, take you for the money. Waste some mana, get some mana. Get a chest, get nothing. I'm really having bad luck with uh, finding things on these maps. It's always in the last place I've been looking. But usually I'm pretty lucky, so I don't know what's happening. Also, usually with like things like the Arcane Sanctuary, I'm pretty lucky. I usually get the summer in the first, uh, or worst case, usually the second area. But hopefully for the stream, I'll be lucky and I'll get in the first one. Wouldn't that be wonderful? But I probably just jinxed it. Yeah, it's definitely going to be the last place I look. Right down. Wait, where can it be? Oh shoot. It's not up these stairs. Is that rare, dude? Oh, it is. Shoot! Ah! I like how they even, like, if you, like, look at this guy. How do I zoom again? F? Ah, oh, shoot. But look at this zombie. He's got, like, a cool little cloak. So they even made the character model look a bit more unique as the extra, as the, uh, the boss of the, the mob. But shit, now I have to re resurrect my fella. Freaking teeth. Good for a crowd, but for an individual, not so hot. I feel like. Uh, right? Yeah, I don't even think. Yeah, I can't even pause right now. There's no one else in this. Uh, in this map, in this game. Oops. Freaking die. You looked lovely, but yeah. Fucking suck. Alright, let's go to town. Sell this garbage. Get more pots. Get Mazan. Zan is going to be super important when I go to summoning. Greetings. Keep my dudes alive. Wait, hold on a second. Son of a bitch. I meant to get the healing guy. Fuck. Defiance isn't going to help my dudes if I have to fight Diablo. It's not going to give them resistance. Um, I guess this is the only guy with prayer. Emilio. I'll put that go. to good use. I'll put that to good use. I'll put I think the other guy was level 12, so I didn't really lose experience with that. Um, the attack rating might be good. But my strategy with this Necromancer is because I kind of wanted to play through from Act 1 to Act 5 without any help from others. And I do have gear from other characters here. Uh, and some of it would probably be helpful to this guy, but I'm trying not to use it. I'm trying to just, from start to finish, do it all by myself. So to get the best of both worlds from Acts 1 to 3, I'm going to be a Bone Necro. And then from four to five, I'm gonna switch to summoning. So a defiance one would give my summons a lot of defense, but what really sucks with uh, summoning, especially against Diablo, is Hello. his friggin' ring of fire spell, and even his lightning spell. And defiance only gives physical defense, I believe. So it'd be better off if my skeletons can take a hit or two, and then while they're taking a hit, my mercenary is healing them a bit and 
maybe they can get a few more hits in before they ultimately die. And then the plan from then is when they all die to go back to Act 1, summon a bunch again, and then get back and get them to hit Diablo again. Which I've done before and I'm pretty sure it worked. It just takes a minute. But it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Especially if I could get Emilio all trained up. But I really just like using a summoner. Um, first of all, I could have started summoner and done Bone Necro for the tail end. But a Bone Necro is pr pretty good, um, especially once he gets Bone Spear, like earlier on. But a summoning Necro gets really fun when he gets a bunch of summons, which he wouldn't have if I just did him for Act 1 to 3. Plus, I like this challenge. Uh. Yeah, you need to use portals, especially with Bale and Diablo. They don't give you a lot of summons. Um, and Mephisto's going to be easy because I'll be a Bone Necro. And uh, there's a cheesing technique. And uh, he's probably the easiest boss in the game. Duriel might be a pain in the ass as well. Because my Bone Spear is not going to be very strong by the time I get to him. What am I doing right now? Let's go back. Back to the Lost City. Alright. It's probably like here. What am I doing? For some reason I thought those were the stairs. Eh. Do you know of the cheese? I think a lot of people know, but I made the video on how to cheese them on my channel. Because I'm finding a lot of people in this game don't know how to play this game. Even a lot of streamers that got early access, I was baffled that they didn't know anything about the game. Uh... Oh, well basically... There's a river, uh, a river of blood, I believe, right before you get to Mephisto. And then there's like a way around the river to get to him. So you basically smack him and you lure him to the river, run around quickly, and then you get out of reach of him. And he kind of just gets stuck on the wall and you blast him with projectiles and he never can hit you. You just make sure you have a lot of mana potions and he just drops without even doing any damage. It's a great way to magic find if you have a sorceress or if you have like an enigma on, on some sort of character that can cast projectiles. Doesn't work so well if you're a barbarian unless you're a throwing barb. This place is as dark as yeah, I don't think I'm going to get bone spear from maggot lair. Yeah, if I could get to him. Between this and this act and act three together. As a solo bone necro, takes a hot minute. When I was doing my trap assassin, like I was able to blast through everything. Especially cause like you could kind of just run through the map and grind for experience by just dropping traps everywhere. And it'll just kill a bunch of random uh, mobs that you otherwise wouldn't have time for. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna have enough experience. I'll definitely hit 17. So hopefully I can get a lot of experience. From the last dudes. Oh, this will be a good bunch of experience. I think. Actually, I don't think those skeletons actually give you experience. Shoot. Yeah, I don't think they do.
I'm getting experience pretty quickly, but not quickly enough. Oh, you motherfucker, he died. <laughs> Fucking guy. Couldn't even heal himself. I didn't know he dies with poison. I thought he just goes to one health like I do. Fuck. I gotta get him. I gotta make sure he gets as much experience as he can before Act 4. Better not be. Oh, he's not yes, too expensive. Need more mana pots. Welcome to my shop. Um, there we go. Well, good thing, uh, good thing my luck has uh, been continuing. Picking the wrong way. Having to clear the entire place before I find the way to level 2. Just means more experience for me. Ooh, charm. Oh, and thanks for the... Thanks for the follow. I haven't figured out how to get notifications in my ear when someone follows. I don't even know if there's a way of doing that. Because if I start listening to my streaming computer, I can hear basically what I'm streaming. So I'd be hearing double. And I don't know if there's a way of stopping that. Still new to all this shit. But it's fun. Okay. Alright. Now we just want this bar to fill all the way up and I can use my bone spear. I need mana. Oh, you could hear it? Yeah, you could hear it. The stream should be able to hear it, but I can't hear notifications. It's because I would have to hear it through OBS, but if I start listening to OBS, I can hear... Actually, while you're here, I'm gonna see... I'm gonna mute the desktop audio. But I think that mutes it for you. Okay, can you hear the game audio right now? If I do that. I'm guessing it mutes it for you. Shoot. Yeah, see, I, it mutes it for you, but it also mutes it for me. And if I could mute it for myself, then I'd be able to listen to the notifications and stuff. I should have been smart and looked up a tutorial about how to stream, but I was like, nah, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out for next time. I was pretty proud of myself that I found a way to get the chat on the screen and get the alerts to work in the first place. Baby steps. Oh, thank you. I am overburdened. Yeah, I also figured out how to do dual PC streaming, which was I was pretty proud of as well. Because for some reason, this game doesn't seem too hard to run, but if I try to stream it from the same laptop I'm playing on it, it it really starts to bog down. So thankfully I had an Elgato kicking around. And I was able to hook up a dual stream thing. And hopefully one day I can invest in uh, the Elgato 60 frames per second. Because the Elgato I have like the very first model. Oh shoot. I got it. I got what I need. Well, not exactly. I didn't get my level up. But I got the amulet, 
which I think is a better amulet for me for the time being. Good to see you. Mm. Nah. Nah. It kind of is, but I don't want to take off my amulet now because I know me. I'm going to forget that I need that amulet and I'll sell it and then I'm going to use the staff and then I'm going to not have an amulet anymore. Because I'm a maroon. Okay. I'm pretty sure I got the far oasis waypoint. Not that big of a moron. We'll make our way through the maggot layer. Hopefully, make quick work of it. I think my mercenary should be pretty good at killing things. I hope. Whoa, I don't know what happened there. Little leg. How is it... How is it being choppy now? The maggot layer shouldn't be that hard to load. Such a small little map. Unless it's loading the biggest map it could possibly load for me. Just to be kind. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Yes. The horrible lair. I liked playing Project Diablo 2. The the game that they modded and that was pretty big for a hot minute because they made the mega layer wider. No, don't die. Thanks. Which made a huge difference. It was just like one square wider. But then you can like really just get at things better. You don't get blocked anymore. But all the same, I'm glad they stayed true to this mega layer. Because if there is a bunch of people out there that haven't played Diablo 2, um, and this is their first time playing, then they deserve to go through the pain of going through the mega layer. It's a rite of passage. I have a feeling that I'm going to get the level up that I need right when I get to the end of the maggot layer. Which is fine because honestly Bone Spear is going to be amazing for the Arcane Sanctuary as well. But it would be nice to have it here. Get some healing pots. I'm taking a lot more damage than I thought. I thought my mercenary would be like a good meat shield. He's kind of staying back like a jerk. I'm happy with the quality of life things they did do for this though. Like picking up money. That's good. Um, they added like little secret passages in Act 1. It's hard to kind of pick up. Oh yeah, there's like a little refresh button on the gambler. Just tiny little things that don't really change the original experience of the game. But they kind of remove frustration from things you had to do manually. Like opening and closing the gambler was pointless. Yeah, wave. <laughs> I held on to that remake too, thinking they would like update it and stuff. But everyone's like, it sucks, got their refund, and then they're just like, alright, we're just gonna let it suck. Not enough mana. We're not getting our money back, so. Uh, which I, f I feel like if they did revamp it a little bit, people would repurchase it. But they knew they wouldn't. And to their credit, they just abandoned Warcraft 3. Which sucks for people like Grubby, uh, that professional uh, player who like continuously kept playing the game, and then finally there's gonna be a remaster, and like he was looking forward to it so much, and then got discouraged. And then I think they took away online support for the original Warcraft 3, so 
people that want to play Warcraft 3 still are stuck playing the remastered version. Such a brutal version. This is a good laptop, and for some reason, whenever I go to load the game on this laptop, th like even the the menu screen is all choppy. And it's a known mistake by the the people that made it, and they just didn't bother fixing it. It just doesn't have like the right support for certain graphics drivers or cards or something. I don't know what the issue is, but they should be able to fix it. Enough people still kept the game. And I really liked Warcraft 3, so I'm kind of bummed out that they didn't show it the love it deserved. Wow, that's the armor I've been using? That's an improvement. Wow, no wonder I was getting killed so much. Yeah, my mercenary had better armor than me. That's unacceptable. Pot, pot. We're actually still on Maggot Lair level 1. And I'm getting pretty close to my level, so maybe we will have it for... For the remainder of the Slayer. I'm gonna need to get more pots for sure soon. Even my new armor is not preventing me from getting massacred here. Bars. Yeah, he needs something better. I haven't found anything. Or I also have an issue where no matter how long I play this game, if I see something on the ground, I just go. Eh, that's trash for me, and I don't even remember that. Oh yeah, I need to be gearing up my mercenary. So I'm gonna actively look out for something and, and get him a better sphere. Level two. Teeth aren't performing I need too mana. badly down here. Still getting quite a few hits. Like that, I think all the teeth are hitting this guy. Eh. Hit you with my weak ass wand. Just like one champion pack, I should be able to get it. Right up to a level. Uh -huh. Stop poisoning me, please. I don't like it. Stop it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, enough of this. If there's gonna be monsters, give me a big old mob. Okay, it's getting close to my prediction of what I said that I'm gonna get right to the end of this and then get my bone spear. Which is fine. It's a win win. Either I'm gonna get my bone spear before the maggot layer, or the maggot layer is gonna end soon. Ah! Stop it! 
Okay. I ran out of potions. I need mana. Thank you. Ah, uh, shoot. Yep. Gotta go get more potions. I just wanted to plow through and be done with it. But yes. it's not in the cards. It is an honor to you. Yeah. Good day. It's partly my fault. Because whenever I play characters, even characters that use a lot of mana, I don't put anything in energy. I like getting strength up to where I need it to wear gear and then I just kind of pump it into vitality. I should honestly do it because I'm it's kind of like a force of habit because I'm still used to like back in the day you couldn't get uh, stat resets like that wasn't a thing. So I'm like later on I'm gonna have the gear and never need mana anyway and whatever mana I do need like I'm not gonna go through a full belt very quickly but Lately, in my, some of my playthroughs, I've kind of worked through that force of habit, and I will throw some into energy. And then later on, when I'm fine for mana and everything, then I'll kind of readjust all the stats. But yeah, it's a force of habit thing. Uh, I need more pots. I'm just gonna fill my. No, actually, I don't need to fill my inventory. Because I'm about to get to the end of the maggot layer. Got a few health pots. It does make sense. And the thing is, the more your character relies on mana, like a sorceress, the more gear they find that gives them mana, so then it's like, it's pointless. And potions are cheap. I need mana. This is gonna be the room, isn't it? Oh. I need mana. What's in the goo? Potions are even cheaper now that you automatically pick up money. Cash for days. Yeah, mana regen. If you get like frost burn gloves at an early level, it increases your mana quite a bit and your mana regeneration, and then you're usually fine for like a low level magic find sorceress. And then from there, you just end up finding a lot more gear, and and then you have gear to pass down to your alts, and you're usually fine. I need my Yeah, this big old guy's gonna give me my level right at the end. What an asshole. Oh no. Still got a bit of grinding to do. But it's damn close. Yeah, mana. Yeah, let's rearrange this a bit. Because of my force of habit energy thing I like to have three portions of my belt dedicated to mana pots all right now we can move on to the cool areas da, da, da. ah what am I doing it's like I've never navigated this town a thousand times the staff of kings you astound me my friend you have discovered the shaft portion mm, of a yeah check out staff. that shaft i trust you know how to use a herodric cube to unite the shaft with its head i do yeah. <laughs> oh. that'll do 
noise. Even this looks different in my hand. It actually looks like the staff. Whereas before it was just like a big black staff. Yeah, it was a big old black shaft. <laughs> oh shoot, what were you saying? I'm trying to read all these. Excellent. You have a Herodric staff. Carry it with you into Tal Rasha's tomb. Find within yes. the tomb the chamber whose floor is inset with the circle of seven symbols. Place the staff into the receptacle you find there. That will open the secret passage into Tal Rasha's burial chamber. But be prepared for a fight. You'll likely have to kill Tal Rasha to destroy Bale. If you could just kill Tal Rasha to destroy Bale, why'd they just leave him in there in the first place? If he's willing to sacrifice himself, just why didn't they just kill him? Not a bunch of bright bulbs, I guess. Or Kane doesn't know what he's talking about. Mm. Alright, I think I have to talk to Drognan now. I've been researching the old records, trying to find the location of Tal Rasha's tomb. Though I haven't found the tomb itself, I may have a good lead for I'm it. listening. The great Vigerai summoner, Horizon, built his arcane sanctuary somewhere around here. He was a powerful spellcaster and kept demons as slaves within the sanctuary. He kept a close eye on great events too, such as the imprisonment of Bale within Tal Rasha's tomb. If you could find Horizon's sanctuary, I'm sure that it would hold some clue as to the tomb's location. Though I doubt Horizon is still alive, you must proceed with caution. There's no telling what could be waiting inside. When I spoke of this with Lord Jaren, he asked that I send you to him. Perhaps he knows of a secret entrance or the like. Do you remember who the summoner is in Diablo lore? can't do that here. He used to be a very important fella. Greetings. All right, let's go talk to Jaren. <laughs> yeah. I don't think like a ton of people know. Stay out of trouble. He used to be uh he was the summoner or he was the sorcerer from Diablo 1 that most people played as. When the troubles began here, I allowed the terrified harem guilds to join me within the safety of the palace. All was fine until one night. Screams echoed up the stairwells from the harem. My guards arrived to find the poor girls being slaughtered by a merciless band of hell-spawned demons. Those bastards. My brave guardsmen tried to push the demons back into the mysterious rift from which they came. Ever since, my men have fought a losing battle. Demons have continued to pour through the rift into the palace. Ultimately, I hired Greys and his mercenaries to help protect the rest of my fair city. Drognan believes that the arcane sanctuary mm. lies buried underneath this palace. Since Lutgalane occupies the site of an ancient Vigerai fortress. My palace is open to you now. Take care. Oh, thank you. Uh, what? Please state your business. Uh the character from one was the wanderer. Oh, your character from one Yeah, so um The character from one technic yeah, it is from uh, Diablo 1 but the wanderer is supposed to be the warrior like in in lore even though everyone mainly played as a sorcerer and killed Diablo as a sorcerer in the lore of the game it was the warrior that killed Diablo and then uh, I guess the sorcerer and rogue were still helping to kill him 
and the sorcerer ends up being the summoner. And in Act One, Blood Raven was the rogue from Act One, from uh, Diablo One. Okay, I don't know which one it was, but I'm sure he wasn't gonna say anything important. Wait, hold on. Uh, I could probably adjust the transparency of the map. Because I, like many others, like to keep the map open to guide me, but it shouldn't be fully visible. Where was that? Eh. Uh, Eh. Uh, gameplay? Oh, here it is. Mm, apply? Yeah, that's a bit less jarring. Yeah, I think it described it... It does kind of describe it in the story. But I'm pretty sure it was in the in the manual for Diablo 2 that it fully described it. If I'm correct, I could be wrong. It might have been a friend that told me, but it's kind of verified in other areas. Why does the music sound so weird? Oh, I was so close to that bone spear. Might be this mob that gives me it. I need my Music sounds so loud. Drop it a little bit, maybe. Give me my level. I'm taking the foolish path. You're supposed to go straight across. It's the fastest way. I got distracted. I'm so greedy for my level. Oh, waypoint. I never get this waypoint. All right, continuing. Woo. Oh, this will be it, I think. Oh, for sure. Whoop, there it is. All right, let's just quickly run away. Uh, might as well use all my mana. Okay, let's get it. Get it. Okay, I think it hasn't added synergy. So let's see, 33 to 50 damage. What do I do with teeth? Uh, 20 to 27, and that's per tooth. Oh, that did add the synergies. Oh, I have to get a few skill points in there, but I think it's still more beneficial to use it. The piercing's nice. Let's get a bit of mana. Why not? Bone spear! Bone shaft! Okay, this is... I gotta do the function. Ah, shoot. This freaking ducky keyboard. Function three. There we go. I keep forgetting I have bone armor too. That's not very strong. Look at that. That is nice. That was pretty quick work. I think it costs less mana to use than my teeth as well. At this point. Seven mana versus eleven point five. Oh for sure. Yeah, it's gonna be nice. Die. That was a waste. If I could get mana after each kill too, on one of my items, that would be good. Ooh. Freaking die. Not my mercenary. I meant the monsters. Uh, 
die. Die. Yeah. Doing good. Doing good. Oh, this was the... Alright. I'm gonna get to the Arcane Sanctuary before I get my mercenary back. He needs to just chill in town and think of what he's done. There we go. This is fantastic. I wish I had time to study this All right. bizarre dimension. We're doing it. We're getting through Act Two. Today. It takes a while, but I I do like Act Two. I like the nice openness, the brightness of it. Today. It's got a bunch of cool areas. But I do have nostalgia for getting to Act 3. I remember there was like a huge triumph. Because when I first played the game, I, I picked a Barbarian. And it's a hard class to play as your first one. Especially when you get to... Duriel. Being a melee class against Duriel when you're first learning the game is like a nightmare. Because you got the Holy Freeze that s slows you down. and It just takes ages to defeat him. Yeah. Alright. So I consider this path here to be up or north. So let's call this north, east, south, and west. I'm going to leave this to you. So that way if, <laughs> if you get it wrong, I can just be mad at you instead of myself. South? Alright, let's go south. I'm going to disown you if, we're, if this is wrong. <laughs> no allowance for a week. Feeling good about it. Freaking pillars though, they're killing me. Freaking killer pillars. Freaking die. Okay, let's. I'm gonna run a bit and get them to follow me. Get to a better vantage point. What? I just clicked that portal shrine and no portal came up. It's a scam. Alright, we're getting close. Pillars are the worst. Why did my screen turn off? I'm pretty sure I'm still streaming. Ah! If only that portal shrine worked. I can't see the screen. Come on. That worked. <laughs> I can see the chat again. It is an honor to serve you. I really need to get a new monitor. It has like that line through it that like where the pixels are broken. It like unhooks every once in a while. Yeah, that portal shrine did not work. Freaking Maybe it didn't work because there's already a portal shrine. Maybe that's a thing. Alright. It's a good thing I ran by the monsters and didn't clear myself a path.
Oh my god, there's a special guy too. Oh, I still do quite a bit of damage without my gear. That's nice. Poor unfortunate soul. Just ignore me. I'm no threat to you. I'm just off to see the wizard. If you chose correctly. Are you feeling lucky, punk? I don't know. Nope. This path was incorrect. <laughs> I don't know if I can blame you. It's probably my luck. I've been very, very unlucky. I'm sure it was south, and then it's just like, oh, it's Chris coming, and then he just move things with his magic. I'm feeling good about north. Oh, and you're saying east? So let's go west. <laughs> it's gonna be the place we don't pick, so let's see. Ah, those things. I hate those things. They're so strong against magic. Thankfully, his shitty pokey stick works. I need mana. Dude, I don't know. I guess they're weak against physical. But I rarely play physical classes. There's one up here. But my mercenary seems to be pretty effective against it. That'll do. Mm, I'm not feeling too good about this path. I don't know. The game was messing with us. I told you it was going to be the way that we don't pick. We've outsmarted the arcane sanctuary. You stupid sorcerer. You're no match for our deduction skills. Oh, he's very weak. Don't you dare. He was a deluded fool who got too close to true power. We would have done the whole thing. I felt it in my bones. I'm like, uh, I would have regretted not going west. In a way, we did find the way because 
I wouldn't have picked west. If you said west, I would have picked east. I wouldn't have picked west. If I picked west, I would have went north. Alright. Before I go in, I want to pick up this spear. I am overburdened. I want to go get my mercenary. And I want to identify that spear because it might be a better weapon for him. You must move quickly now, friend, for Diablo is undoubtedly close to finding what he seeks. Find the tomb of Tal Rasha before he frees the Lord of Destruction. I hope that this false summoner found peace in death. Unfortunately, it is more likely that he will be dragged I just realized into hell by the demons he was bound to. This Let is this Dylan, isn't it? <laughs> I knew your name too. Path, but its powers are seductive and deadly. I was like, I recognize the name. I was like, shoot. I think I talked about you in the third person about your necromancer to you. <laughs> Thank you. Good day. <laughs> it was more authentic that way. some more pats that's a weird glitch whenever it's doing that animation it doesn't let you click the the quest to see what you need there's nothing the right portion can't cure all right we'll see how the bone necro compares to oh wait I forgot my mercenary <laughs> I definitely did recognize the name. I was like, I felt bad. I was like, oh shoot, because I thought it was someone from like Discord or something. I was like, I'm usually pretty good at remembering who they are because I've seen a lot of their faces uh, in video chat. And I didn't want to be like. Who are you? What I usually do at work if I I find one person that I know and I get to know their name really well, I'll like write it down and everything. And it's usually the person that talks with everybody. And I get to know them and then when other people introduce my uh, themselves to me and I ultimately forget their name, I go to the one person whose name I did actively remember and I get them to tell me who their name is. So it gives people the illusion that I never forget their name. Yeah. I did it all the time at the restaurant. Especially there because you're just constantly meeting new people and getting new names to remember. My mercenary is not going to do too well in this desert. Uh, that was the shuriken. I can't remember. Do the temples? I know the symbol where Talrasha is changes, but does the location of the temples change? Because I think I remember from when we played, the shuriken was up there. So I don't know if that's always the case or it just is happenstance that it's there again. Uh, 
Oh, they do? Like, the temples change? I just chalk it up to bad memory and I'm just saying like, maybe they are in the same position all the time and I just haven't been able to remember. <laughs> oh no! Ah, safety portal! Give Emilio some health. This is it. Gosh dang. We got this. Second time's the charm. I've already forgot my mercenary's name. Like, it started with an M. Good evening. Nope. Emilio. I can understand why I thought it started with an M. I can't figure out if it's from all the drinking that I have a bad memory or if I've always had a bad memory. I might have had a good memory as a kid, but I can't remember. It's an unfortunate situation. That's why I kind of wanted to learn piano from Deanna. Because I think piano is a good way of like exercising your memory. Oh wait, I had a safety portal. Da, 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 da. A little bone armor. I'm gonna get ready to do another safety portal. And let's just cast a spell because I'm pretty tough. Without my gear. Uh, and the dexterity or something to uh, yeah, but I think part of being ambidextrous because you're kind of using both hands and whatnot and you have to memorize two things at the same time of what you're playing I think it just wires your brain in a new way which I'm just guessing might help with, with memory I feel like it would have to Ooh. Hate those things. They hurt. I'm trying to see if the is the chat box even popping up on the screen? I haven't been looking. Catch it in the act. Hopefully, I'll have no problem with Daryl at level 19, which seems to be the level I'll be at once I get to him. I have to fill my inventory with mana pots. But I have a feeling I'll be fine. I mean, they designed them to be beatable by barbarians and paladins and stuff, and they don't really do much more than 33 to 50 damage at this point with their melee attacks, even with their spells, I don't think. Nah, 
do 50 to 67. Extra vitality will be helpful. Ooh. Load up on some free pots. And of course, it's going to be the last room I go into as well. Burst these beetles for some nice experience. Picking things. I used to really hate them. Whenever I found them in Act 2, it was like my least favorite thing. Mainly because I played Barbarian. But now that I know that they give good experience, some of the best experience, I'm happy to see them. Rejuve might be good. What? He just died. He wasn't poisoned, was he? I'm gonna have to look that up when I'm editing the footage. What? Fucking guy. I don't know if there's a point of reviving him now, because I'm about to find the area. And he's not gonna be able to survive Duriel. Just be wasting the money I'm gonna have to spend on potions. Although, I don't think I noticed it till now, but his passive healing was kinda nice. Oh, sweet. No worries. I just saw your message. I was asking, I was, I was waiting for you to send another message because I wasn't sure. I promised the good people of YouTube that there'd be chat on the screen if someone on YouTube or on Twitch talks. So there'd be less um, uh, confusion as to why I'm talking out of context. So I wasn't actually sure. I didn't confirm whether or not I did actually get it working, but I did. You'll be the first, uh, the first uh, Twitch viewer featured on Questing Couch. I'll have a plaque made up, and I'll send it to you. Ooh, that will, actually, I'm gonna res revive my mercenary. That's actually gonna be a better helmet for him. <laughs> Greetings. I'm gonna see if I could gamble him a better spear. Actually, is that a good idea? I'm gonna need a lot of money for potions and stuff. Yeah, I'll just wait. I'll get him one in Act 3. Uh, repair. Load up. I'm gonna actually put this cube. It's such a hassle to like use it as storage for the f like few extra squares you get. So, I'm not gonna, hold on, hold on, let's do this right. I'm not gonna need that. Uh, fuck it, I don't need to store those, they're cheap. Uh, we don't need this large charm anymore. And I'll just hold on to the keys. There, we have more room for pots and stuff now. Load up the inventory. Uh, there we go. Fully loaded. 
ready to rock and or roll. Safety portal. Safety, safety bones. Safety spears. Are you kidding me? The one thing that I would want to pick up. Did they remaster the maps to like be longer? Because I've done a lot of tomb runs in my days. And I don't think they were this big. Unless I'm just being very unlucky. dealer yep another wrong room predictable we should have done the thing again where we both pick directions to go and then not go those directions Existing. Okay. Ah! Don't like those mana drains. Not with my limited mana that I've purposely given myself. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Feeling good about this way. Ah! Good experience. Honestly, at this point, maybe it is better off that I clear out the entire tomb because I might actually get another level. Especially if I get a few more rare packs. Not this time. Yeah, especially because every level seems to get me a lot of damage. Like a lot more than if I didn't have as many points as I do in teeth. Oh, I should be working my way down and getting Bone Wall and Bone Prison as well. Because they also add synergies. Which would be more important if I actually had something that gave me all the Necromancer skills. Like maybe this charm? Nah, that'd be too good to be true. I don't even know if you can find charms like that in normal. Or even Nightmare for that matter. Alrighty then. 
Staff, check. Safety portal, check. Full belt, check. Bone armor, a check. Amazing, yeah, okay. All right, wish me luck. Yeah, this will take a hot minute. Bone prison might have actually been nice on him, I think. Mm. Okay. What is that, like a tenth of his health I got down? Do you believe? <laughs> I, I believe. I believe it's going to take me at least ten more. Ten more tries. Need some help? I just need Amelia or Emilio as just like a distraction so I can get my corpse. Nothing more, nothing less. Unless you can get a swinging. That'd be nice too. Yoink. Yep, distract, distract, distract. I get a few good hits. A few good hits. Don't kill me. I identify you as a jerk. Okay, okay. We got this, we got this. The mercenary distraction is actually pretty good. Get obliterated the first hit. Yeah, if he takes a few hits, it lets me just quickly cast. Let's see if I can actually get a weapon to boost my damage a bit. Bone wall might help. Two of the bone wall would be better than what I have, but that's expensive. Three to bone wall, even better. No, nope. might as well just go with what I got. Not in town. Ooh. Remind me to get portals when I'm... I mean, I'm not going to die again. <laughs> be nice if I could get, like, greater health potions in Act 2. You can't get away from them. Give him all you got. Okay, he's half. He's half. I need to get town portals. I'm still good for pots. Maybe some healing potions. Not in town. Good I don't day. need this. I gotta go old Draghi. Good day. We're good. Not in town. Greetings. All right, Emilio. Do you need better armor? Is that is that all we need? It's not really a big improvement I can give him. Maybe a weapon. Mm, slow attack speed. If I had like a socket thing, normal attack speed. Maybe if I give him like either a decent, 
like uh okay like maybe if i give him a sapphire so it slows him down a bit or that mm, but 40 is i mean that's just if i could get an extra bone spear it's better i think cold damage I hate, I hate him. I hate him so much. <laughs> Why? He's got enough strength. One dexterity. You motherfucker. You. Piece of. Let's see if I can hire one that's like one level higher than him. I'll I'll take his gear off if I see one. Mm, no, I. I mean, I could get a level 18 one. It won't have healing, but he might a he might a survive longer because he'll be a higher level. And b I can give him the item and c. Later on, I could just rebuy a healing one once once I beat Act Two. So let's do that. Uh, Kazim. There you go. There you go. And I'll sell this. This might, if he can take one extra hit for being level 18, that'll get me a few more hits. If he can hit him and freeze him a bit and slow him from getting to me, that might get me a few hits as well, which might make a bit of a difference. And this would help too, maybe. What do you think? Did that work? Did that get me an extra hit? I'm just gonna unload into him. Yeah. I think I got one extra hit, but it might also be because he didn't really hit me the first swing he took at me. I'm just gonna take a moment to appreciate how cool his default look is. It's a little leather thing. I think he was just black before. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of cool too, but. That's cooler. Who goes there? What? Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Greetings. I can't sell anything that's not... That's over here, because that would be cheating. Um, fuck it. Fuck it. Whatever. Sell, 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 sell. Get my fella. And then... Do you lose money from your stash when you die in normal? Or is it just from your person? I thought it was just from your person. Die, die, die. Just freaking shoot. Just shoot. Just. Okay, I think I could get him on the next one. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get enough money to resurrect the dude. 
If I could, then I should. I think I have enough. You do? I don't think I lost too much. Good day. Yeah, I did have enough. Cool. I feel... Not in town. I, I think this is going to be it. I can't do that here. This, this... This is the one. Oh, I didn't even see him for a second there. We did it. Ooh, and I got a unique. Cool. Oh, that's the one we found when we were playing earlier, and but it was Ethril. Like gauntlets, they might be better. If I load my belt, I'll be able to fit more of this junk in my trunk. That I definitely need for money. All right. Explore Telrosh's tomb. Oh, what do we have here? Is that a hand? Oh no, it's a little grub. Uh, oh, hello there, Tyrael. I thank you for my no problem. Friend. But I did expect you earlier. Mm. I am the Archangel. It's sassy. I came here to prevent Diablo from freeing his brother Bale, but I have failed. Now, terror and destruction roam free throughout your world. Even now, they head towards the eastern capital of Kurast, to the very heart of the Zakarun Temple. There, they hope to find their eldest brother, Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred, who was imprisoned there ages ago. If the three prime evils unite, they will be invincible. Will they now? Though it is unclear as to what their aims are, it is certain that they must be stopped at all costs. I am broken, and the energies that tie me to this world are diminishing rapidly. You must take up this quest and prevent the three brothers from reuniting. You must cross the sea and search for Diablo and Bale in Kurast. Now, hurry, mortal. Time is running out for all of us. Hooray, Act 3. Talk to Jarin. I came too late. Oops. Now, destruction is let loose of... Oh shoot, what was he saying? Oh man. I hope that bit. I'm doing horrible at this reading thing. Shoot, I was gonna listen to him. This is terrible news. Bale is in possession of one of mankind's most powerful mages, and the Lord of Terror guides his path. They must be stopped, for I am sure they mean to free their elder brother Mephisto, the Lord mm -hmm. of Hatred. Who lies imprisoned under the corrupted city of Oh, he's Kurast. a pushover anyway. I fear you are walking into a great evil, but your faith can save you. May you walk in the light always. Um, I'm a necromancer. No light here. Greet. I'm sorry things didn't turn out as you had hoped. Go and remember us fondly. You know, you bothered me far less than most. <laughs> Diablo, get out of my swamp. I can't do a Shrek accent. Serious setback. It is most unfortunate that Talrasha has been consumed by Bale's destructive influence. There are many secrets known to the Haradrim which could be used by Bale against mm -hmm, us. Mm -hmm. You must travel east by sea to Kurast and stop Diablo and Bale before they free their eldest brother, Mephisto. Uh, the lands of the Eastern Empire are not the same as they used to be. There's been little word for some time. Speed is of the essence. Go quickly, my friend. May the fates smile on you. Thank you, sir. Does everybody have something to say? Yes, nope, he doesn't yes. give a shit. How about you? Nothing? How about... I know this guy likes talking. You have done very well. Few could have come this far, let alone discover the true tomb of Talrasha. Unfortunately, I hear that Diablo and Bale have eluded mm -hmm. your 
This is most unfortunate. If you wish to travel east, I have authorized Mashif to give you passage by sea. I imagine he should be very anxious to leave by now. Good luck on your quest, and thank you again for saving my beloved city. You will always be welcome in Loot Golane, my friend. Thank you. Let's go talk to Sailor Boy over here. Mischief. Greetings. I know who you are. Captain of this ship here. I make port runs around the Twin Seas and occasionally out to Kingsport in Westmarch. I haven't sailed anywhere lately, though. Jaren has ordered me to stay docked here in case of emergency. Well, now he hasn't. Jaren tells me I should take you east yeah, that's to Kurost. I haven't been there for several years, but rumor has it things are pretty grim. Well. Let's do it. Good to see Let's you. do it. And we can watch the cinematic together. Yet you went anyway. But that voice was just a whisper now. As we worked our way Yeah, they look so much better than I before. See a change in my companion. They looked awful. I can hardly see. But I guess they were good for the time. I preferred how they uh animated Bale in the original one compared to the later cinematics in this one. Oop. Indigestion. That's what happens when you don't drink enough water and you start wandering through the desert. It was then I realized my companion hadn't been gaining strength. He had been losing what was left of his humanity. Right. <laughs> Nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach. Demonic possession. Demonic. Hey, Pepto Bismol. And you appear. Stop. The beast contained herein shall not be set free, not even by you. Do it, Marius. You foolish man. There you will find the gate to hell open before you. You must find the courage 
forge to step through that gate, Marcus. Take the stone you hold to the Hellforge, where it will be destroyed. Now run. Take the stone and run! Do you think Tyriel would have won if it wasn't for Marius's intervention? He's doing pretty good. What choice did I have? Lyra. Yeah. Diablo's getting his ass whooped. God damn it, Marius. God damn it, long loading screens. The amount of loading I had to do before I started streaming. Whenever I haven't played the game in a while, I feel like the loading just gets atrocious. Even though this is a pretty good laptop and it's not struggling because of the stream, because it's not streaming, the other computer is. Good day. We've done it. All right. I'm going to end the stream there because I don't have enough energy to get through Act 3, which potentially might even be a longer act than Act 2 if I get all the wrong maps and whatnot. So, there you have it. Act 2. Um, I'll be playing this again at some point. I think the next stream I'm doing is actually this weekend, but not for this. I'm going to be doing... A group stream with the new Grand Theft Auto game with the other questing boys. Um, so yeah, uh, they do the podcast with me, which I've, I've actually um, done some work to get it on more platforms. So pretty much any platform you can imagine for podcasts, i got the podcast on. So you can check that out if you like Blizzard content, but also just gaming and talking about uh, pop culture and whatnot. I'm also continuing to make videos on the YouTube channel where this will also go. So you can check that out there and leave comments on this video if you enjoyed it or hated it or want to tell me what I did wrong. You can do that there. But until next time, keep on questing.